So, uh, I'm the Vickery Beast, and I just kind of wanted to apologize ahead of time because this tutorial is really chaotic and out of place. I had no plans for it whatsoever, but, um, I've had quite a few people requesting it. Uh, this is getting to be a pretty popular sound, uh, used by popular beatboxers, so... I guess you wanted this, and you're welcome. What's up, guys? This is the Vickery Beast, and today I'm teaching you, yes, you, how to do the inward tooth whistle. So I actually obtained this sound pretty randomly. I'm pretty sure it was at the end of my P.E. period last year. I just came outside of the gym going on this. And I was so surprised that I had made that little whistle, so I held my mouth in that place for like my whole uh, seventh period. I think I had sixth period P.E. I think. Um, but I just, you know... So, yeah, that's how I got Okay, so the way you do the sound, or at least the way I learned it, um, was if you can do the taco tongue like that, but not like all the way, not like that much, just like, almost like D-Lo's hollow whistle, um, in that position, but also have your mouth like in an inward whistling position instead of it, but with the slight taco tongue in your mouth like that. You see that? And then from there, I um, actually hadn't seen anyone do the sound before, but I just felt like it would be a more comfortable noise to have in this position than, um, so I just worked on getting it, um, with my teeth out more and more until I could control it better so I can, you can manipulate it with your lips, like... It's a lot, um, it's a lot more contained, just like, almost like a laser when, um, you have it just in the O position. That's about all you can do. I mean, you can change pitch. But I just really prefer, prefer having it in the E position. I, I think you can control the pitch a lot better with your lips when it's in the toothy position. So, yeah. So now um, I'm going to teach you some variations so you can mess around with it try different like effects um so like the scratch the inward tooth whistle scratch i guess that's like done a lot by um a cloud they they alternate doing it back and forth like I just, it's kind of like if you were saying funny in words, funny, funny, funny. But have that in the same position as the, um, the toothy position I was talking about in the last clip. Funny, funny, funny.
So yeah, that's one very. And then another variation that um, I use a lot, which kind of upset, uh, Ziad Sweden got uh, recognized for this before me, but whatever. Um, is the little, uh, it's almost like a hi hat maybe. Trung Bao's sound, but without the vocal, just but with the tooth position. See, this is what I'm talking about. There are a lot of uh, variations you can do um, with the toothy position, but not with the um, open mouth position, I guess. Well, they're both open mouth, just the O lift, I guess I'll call it. Yeah, you can't do it at all. So I would try to work on getting it like in that position, but just the but without vocals, and then in the toothy mouth position. So I guess that um, concludes my uh, tutorial on the inward tooth whistle. So if you appreciated this video, give it a like. You don't have to. You can dislike it if you're a nerd. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.